Honestly, Chinese is a snowball language. Uh, that's what I like to refer to it as. Um, because once you learn one word, here I'll just give a common example. Uh, the word library, which is tu shu guan, which are three individual characters, but when broken up, they each have their own meaning. Tu meaning paintings or you know art, uh, shu meaning books, and then guan meaning building. So art, book, building, library. It makes some sense. But you could take those individual words and use them somewhere else. And then now you already spent because you know tu shu guan. If you see those words somewhere else, you like, oh, I see shu here. Hmm, that's probably talking about a book. So you can just use those. And it's like it's just like a puzzle piece connecting together. But it's a snowball language because the more characters you have, the more characters, you know, I'm not sure if I'm uh, really explaining it right, but uh and the sheer amount of excitement that I see on your face as you speak about the yeah. structure of this language is, is really, is really impressive. Yeah. I would just say, if I, if I had like a general tip, I'd just say, keep going, don't stop, because it does get easier. It's, I mean, it's real. like, if you stop and if you like try to go further than what you're actually at, it's not going to work out. Just make sure you take right. it time at a time and it, it builds up. It, the more you know, the more you know. <laughs>